we need to understand the compressor cycle, sometimes also called the indicator diagram. So let's spend some time looking at it. The compressor diagram, also called the indicator diagram or the PV diagram, is a plot of the pressure on the y-axis with respect to the volume in the compressor. Now, if you look at the labeling A, B, C, D, we would start from the point A where the compressor is at its maximum volume and the air in the compressor is now at the lower pressure of P1. Now, as the compressor advances from A towards B and C, it moves what we call a swept volume. This swept volume is the volume of the piston multiplied by the, the area of the piston multiplied by the stroke. So what we see on the x-axis is a representation of the volume. So when the compressor starts its cycle A to B, it compresses the air using the polytropic compression rule. The Both the valves at the inlet and at the outlet are closed. However, when the compressor reaches the point B, where the pressure slightly exceeds the external delivery pressure, the valve at the exhaust open and compressor removes or pushes out the air until it reaches the point C. Now, the point C limits is the limit to which the compressor piston can move and the remaining volume which it doesn't sweep is called the clearance volume. This is needed because at the outlet and at the inlet, there are valves which need to open and shut. So clearance is needed to be able to allow for this. Now at this point here, we have compressed air still in the compressor, occupying the clearance volume. Now, as the piston now moves away from the top dead center, as it is called, towards the bottom dead center, the air that is in the clearance volume expands until the point D is reached when the pressure is the same as the inlet pressure. At this point, the inlet valve opens and air is induced into the compressor. So, although the compressor sweeps a volume A to C, it induces or takes in air only from D to A and remember the x-axis is a representation of volume so the swept volume is much larger than the induced volume. The clearance volume is a percentage of the swept volume usually between 4 to 6 percent. That takes us to the end of understanding 
the compressor cycle, also called the indicator diagram, also called the pressure versus the volume cycle for the compressor.